wasn't really no different. You know, we just kind of executed a little bit better. You know, this week as opposed to last week and the week before. You know, Danny made all the right reads. You know, he got the ball where it needed to go. You know, the receivers were making catches. The running backs were running. The line was blocking. You know, we just played well as a whole offense. You know, in the second half, you know, we, we didn't really execute at our best. You know, we, we, were, we, were, we were slow, you know, I guess, you know, taking them lightly, you know, which we shouldn't have, you know. They turned it into a game. And, you know, we should have kept our foot on the gas. You know, we pre-start fast and finish fast. And tonight we didn't we didn't really do that. So that's something we're going to have to work on this week. Is there anything you can really do to, to work on that throughout the week? Uh, just, you know, staying mentally too strong, you know. You know, of course, your body's going to be tired, but that's what you worked all summer for. You know, just staying mentally strong and, you know, trying to execute, you know, trying, trying to go out and, you know, actually want to make a play. Uh, Trey, you might have asked about this, just DJ getting involved a little bit more. What did you like out of his performance? I know, I know he's kind of waiting patiently for the opportunity to catch a touchdown and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I love, I love his, his performance. I love his attitude. I love everything he brings to the table. You know, he's, he's a guy who's been here, and he's finally getting his opportunity. He's making the most of it, you know. Besides him, his mom and his dad, when he caught his first touchdown, I might have been the the, the fourth happiest mm -hmm. you know person in the stadium. You know, as somebody I look look as look look on to as a, as a brother. You know, and to see him grow from when he first came to, to now, that's, that's something that has really been a great experience for him. And you know, I've been talking to him about you know catching his first touchdown, and he finally got a chance to do it tonight. That's that's something I've, I'm really proud of him about. Do you think Malachi benefited from moving to the slot? Like, I mean, I know he played some of that last year. You know, what what do you, what do you think that did for him? Uh, I mean, he just, just kind of got his confidence back. Mm -hmm. You know, he caught a couple balls. You know, he's been struggling the past couple of weeks, but he had a great week of practice this week. You know, I could have tell it, it was a different guy this week as opposed to the past couple of weeks. You know, he, he had a great week of practice. You know, he, he was preparing and he, he was ready. You know, when his number was called, he made a play. So I think that benefited him a lot. You know, we, we, we're. We, we ha we're happy where he's at, you know. He's happy where he's at, so we just have to keep moving forward. Do y'all feel like y'all starting to establish a connection with Danny, you know, all the receivers in general, just like working with him more? I mean, how long does that take to really do that? I mean, we, we've been working with him for a while, mm -hmm. you know. Ever since he stepped on campus, we always threw routes on the air, you know, th threw it against the 707, you know. So we kind of, we, you know, we always kind of had a connection with him and Brandon, you know, because both of those guys took a lot of reps. You know, so that's not something new to us, you know. And now he's taking more reps. So, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it's falling into place. How good did it feel to get off to such a good start? Uh, After the last two games, you know, six, six yeah. plays and, and nothing. Uh, it, it felt great, you know, starting off fast. You know, it's something we've been preaching. You know, we can't keep the defense on the field, you know, the whole first quarter. You know, that's something we came out and did today. You know, we started off real, real great, and I was happy about it. You know, the whole offense was happy about it. We executed real well. That's something we've been looking forward to. Did Danny, Danny seem even sharper this time, uh, having a whole week to prepare as a starter, not coming off the bench? Yeah, you know, Danny, Danny's going to be Danny. You know, he's a guy who prepares like he's a starter, no matter what. You know, he's a guy when he's in the, in the, in the offensive meeting or in the meeting with Coach Miles, he's writing down everything the, the coach says. You know, he writes down everything Coach Cam says. You know, so he's always, he's always ready, no matter what. You know, last week, he prepared as if he was a starter. That's why he came in and made the plays he did. You know, he played really well last week, and he had a whole week to prepare as a starter, and he took the same approach. You know, he did the same things. He didn't change anything. He had a great game. Les mentioned you guys kind of shuffled receivers, you know, lined up at some different places. So I guess what was the thinking behind that? Uh, nothing really, you know, just, you know, trying different guys out of different positions, you know, just, you know, just, just trying stuff, you know, just, just trying to get, get a feel for, you know, everyone learning every position. You know, that's something we did, you know, something we preach. Because in hectic situations, we might not get a chance to move across the field or do this, you know, or have time to go this way or go that way. So, you know, we shoveled a couple guys out. It, it, it worked. It worked out pretty, pretty good for us tonight. Sure, even that shovel pass that uh, he threw you is that a, kind of a good example of his pocket awareness and knowing where everybody is on the field. Yeah, you know, I was not expecting was I was not expecting that, and you know when he did it, you know I was I was, I was really surprised. You know, when we got to the sideline, a lot of guys said, "Did he just show that to you?" And I was like, "Yeah." You know, we, they were like, did y'all practice? That? I was like, oh, no, nah. he's just, you know, he improvised a little. And, you know, it just shows he has a lot of awareness. You know, he knows where everybody's at. And, you know, he has a good feel for this offense. How do you feel walking away from a game when you dominate the first half and then you kind of limp to the finish line? Uh, frustrated, you know, but that's something we can fix. You know, coming into next week, you know, we, we can't start fast and finish. You know, it's something we preach that we need to start fast and finish fast. And it's something we need to work on. So that's something we're going to. You know, work on this week, you know, working on executing a lot better when we get tired, you know, not letting 
fatigue get the best of us. How good the 